Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. It's your host, Hussein Mahmoud, on the Ridwanullah show. I mean, inshallah, uh, I have a couple of things on my mind that I wanted to talk about. Um, and it's particularly uh, finding my focus. Um, and I guess we can kind of add uh, making it in media as well, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about for you, you know, with you guys today. Um, obviously, uh, you guys see from the short, short introduction compared to what I used to do um, that I'm slowly but surely trying to improve in, um, you know, the, the, the content that I'm creating and the media platforms that I'm using um, and trying to figure out my focus. You know, that's been a really, really hard thing for me um, in my profession. Um, you know, I'm really trying to build a career out of this and it's a calling for me. Um, so, you know, that's kind of generally what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So if you are interested in uh, some level of content creation or making it in media, um, as well as, you know, just finding a focus, a niche, uh, uh, you know, a section of uh, whatever you wanted to do, uh, whether that's your life and or work or business or whatever it may be. Um, this will be a great episode for you guys, bidhanillahi ta'ala, and it'll give me a little bit of time to reflect on uh, some of the challenges that I've been having, some of the successes that I've had, and a little bit of everything in between, bidhanillahi ta'ala. So, um, honestly, I don't even know where to begin, but I, 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 I know that this is something that I wanted to talk to you guys about for a very long time, um, so I just feel like this is a great opportunity uh, for me to express that to you guys, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. So just to kind of touch on the first part, which is media. Um, this is actually what we're using right now. Um, and we'll touch on a couple of points of it as well and just finding my focus. Um, so, you know, for me, uh, I've benefited from content from other people so much that it actually inspired me to start doing my own thing. Um, you know, people who talk about business, finances, life, dean, health, fitness, uh, health and fitness, um, you know, adventure and fun and traveling, um, community service, um, you know, relationship with family, relatives, the ummah and the world, and, you know, contribution, giving back, you know what I mean? So many people talk about so many things in so many ways. Uh, you know, I listen to a lot of people who talk about money. Um, and obviously, I've already said the dean, uh, education, productivity. There's endless topics that someone can talk about, you know. And for me, I've benefited from a lot of them, so many of them. Um, and I continuously consume content that helps me, uh, you know, build my dean, my life, and my finances. Um, and so many areas of life, to be quite honest with you. And for me, uh, that really, really inspired me to think. Uh, you know, if I could be touched and if I could be inspired and motivated to discipline myself in all of these different areas of my life and to actually create desired outcomes and results, um, you know, as crazy as this dynamic has been, I really thought to myself that uh, it'll be amazing for me to create content for other people so that they could benefit from it as well. Um, and you know, that's, that's been an ongoing battle because in the beginning you're so conscious about what other people think of you that you could barely create anything, but then you slowly but surely find your, you know, mojo or whatever, uh, whatever, whatever that is that you find your groove, um, for lack of a better term and you start creating content. Um, but the, the, the challenging, this is the, this is the challenging parts that I've come across. Number one is, you know, obviously I've been doing this for a little while now and sadly or happily, however you want to look at it, I don't have much traction. And, um, this is the part that I'm a little bit hesitant to mention, which is, you know, we are human beings. We compare ourselves, Right. Uh, we're looking at, you know, like for me, honestly, like my first content, you could watch it on my YouTube channel, uh, was about six years ago, back in 2014, subhanAllah. So that's when I, you know, obviously we all create content, but this is when I was consciously creating content. So I was like, I'm going to put it out there so people could actually benefit from it. 
So since 2014 up until now, 2020, six years in between, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. And if you look at, uh, you know, my, my channels, uh, majority of them are not where, nearly where I want them to be. You know, I thought honestly like I would be at at least at a, a couple of thousands of, of, of subscribers, if not a couple of hundred thousands of subscribers by now, which... You know, it's 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 a whole journey. I'm not uh, I'm not bitter about it, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm just, you know, we're human being. We're human beings, right? We compare ourselves to other people. I see people that have started their YouTube channels or creating content, and they're doing so much better than I am. And you know, for me, I'm still in a journey of self discovery. I'm trying to figure out who I am, what I like, what I do. Um, what I give and what I receive and everything else in between and you know, there's definitely a lot of failures in between that um, So <clears throat> on this journey of creating content uh, I, I really, you know, I, I've noticed the big difference uh, The big difference is most people unlike me they invest into their content creation um, You know, I'm gonna put myself on the on the spotlight um, you know, I'm, I'm not, I really haven't put much money into my uh, content creation. You know, I didn't really upgrade my, even though I, I attempted a couple of times, it wasn't successful. Um, that I really didn't update, you know, upgrade my, uh, my microphone system. I really didn't upgrade my cameras. I really didn't upgrade anything else for that matter. Um, and honestly, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, but I guess it has to do with the money part of it where you know I'm thinking about you know so many different uh, businesses that I'm looking to start but you know I don't know where to put my few uh, the few amount of money that I have into should I you know dump it into uh, getting a lot of gear should I dump it into other businesses that are that will eventually grow um, and eventually allow me to uh, you know, have the positive cash flow to buy uh, more stuff for my for my content creation. I don't know, um, so that's definitely a part of the reason why I haven't been as successful as I needed and wanted to be uh, with my content creation. So that's point number one for anybody who's considering uh, creating content or getting into media directly or indirectly. Um, so that's that's one of the things that I wanted to reflect on. The second thing is. I've just been all over the place, right? I want to talk about this, that, and the third. I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, Dean, health and fitness, um, you know, uh, neatness and abundance in terms of belongings. I'm talking about um, uh, adventure and fun, traveling, adventure and fun. I'm talking about... Uh, you know, family and relatives, uh, you know, I'm not talking about all of these things as much as I would like to, but I do think about talking about them. Um, I'm also talking about uh, freedom and wealth, financial freedom and wealth, uh, financial time and location, freedom and flexibility, flexibility, and that includes the income, the work that goes into it, whether that's just a job or you're doing it as a business. Um, I'm passionate about that. I'm developing myself in that area. Um, you know, so talking about money, finances is still within that investments, whether that's in real estate, the market, the, 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 the market, the stock market. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm not focused as I would like to be. And, um, you know, we're, we're also talking about uh, the ummah and the world and the contributions thereof from individually. Um so, you know, in essence, the, the big picture is I'm trying to, you know, balance and maximize my life. Um, and that's, in essence, what I want to talk about. But there's so many things to cover in so many ways that I honestly don't know what to talk about in my, uh, to focus on in my contents. You know, should I just focus on life and actually talk about all of these different topics? Um, should I talk about one particular thing? Uh, one of the things that keeps coming up for me is finances, which is related to money. Um, you know, that's a topic that I constantly think about, that I constantly want to address with everybody, including myself. Um, and for me, I feel like my lack of focus 
is a part of my advantage, but a huge disadvantage as well. So, I, you know, you guys can help me out. What do you guys like most from me? And I know I got a couple of feedback from people saying that the unique thing that I like about you is you talk about the dunya as well as the akhira, getting your dunya as well as your akhira. So that's just half of the equation, right? In what aspect, in which specific area of life do I want to come to you guys on a regular basis to help you level up, right? Get to that next level, at least at a sufficient level, if not abundant, if not max, if not the highest. So there's those different levels as well um, that we really have to get through. So, you know, that's, you know, that, I, and I don't know. And the other part of it is, it's not just out of, you know, obviously this is my passion, purpose, and dreams. I love talking about this, uh, helping out Muslims, non, you know, non-Muslims and everybody alike. Uh, my main target audience is Muslims, right? Uh, individuals who, uh, you know, and, and, and Muslims who want to maximize, balance and maximize their lives. Um, so... I, I, you know, I, I get lost in that stuff and I, I don't know what exactly to focus on because, you know, there's so many things that I want to focus on. And then, you know, there's the passion side of it and then there's the business side of it. So, you know, in terms of the passion side, you know, I could literally talk about anything and everything because, you know, I'm literally uh, passionate about anything and everything like you name it I'm passionate about it I love it I want to learn more about it uh, because that in essence will help me build my life but then you know there's the dynamic of uh, the media the dynamic of communication the dynamic of you know the art of communication um, and that's a part of the the part in that I lack in because there's so many things that I'm doing uh, in my life and work that it, it feels like I'm stretching myself too thin. You know what I mean? Um, and sadly and honestly, like I'm not producing nearly the amount of results that I want to produce in my life and work. Um, you know, there's a lot more room for me to grow uh, and I'm going to, you know, learn and grow as much as I can. Um, and, uh, you know, really invest in my life and my work. Uh, um you know, and, and it's not an easy journey. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm exactly communicating to you. Uh, sometimes that's where the hard part is. It's like, I know what I want to, what I'm trying to say, but I don't know if that quite makes sense in, you know, to, to, to the audience and those who are watching. So, um, you know, it's not an easy journey to, to, to actually go after what you truly love and what you're truly enjoying and, you know, trying to make a living out of it and building a business around it. There's so many ideas, right? Um, and there's not enough time or room for execution. And for me personally, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And, um, you know, not only just passionately help people. Uh, and that's the the true intention and sincerity is like I really want to help individuals maximize their lives and work. Uh, maybe that's a part of it is just commu you know talking it through. Um, you know, and, and when I say individuals, I mean Muslims. I want to help Muslims maximize balance and maximize their lives and work, uh, whether that's through a job and or business or businesses, um, and you know, the different aspects of it, the financial freedom aspect of it. Um, and you see individuals who are at the top of their game uh, when they're creating content with, you know, the absolute top top of the gear. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're not just saying it, they're illustrating it. They're showing what they're talking about. And, you know, my skills and, and my, you know, my knowledge and skills and experience is not at that level yet. Uh, but it is something that I think about, like when you watch, uh, you know, these YouTube channels or these other contents of, you know, they they have these amazing, um, mashallah, amazing uh, quality and quantity of, of content. And it's so focused and so precise and so helpful. Um, and then you have me on the other spectrum uh, where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm literally using my old laptop, uh, my uh, um, uh, 
camera, uh, video camera. Some people think it's professional, but to me, I, I know how much of a garbage it is uh, when it's in comparison to other people. And that's the other thing. Like, I don't want to compare myself to other people. But it, I think it's just human nature. As long as I'm not utilizing it to beat myself up and utilizing it to construct myself and, you know, get better at what I'm trying to do. And for microphone, I'm actually using these AirPods. Like, you guys might not be able to tell. So, here they are. <laughs> So I just have it here, and this is my stand right here. So, you know, it, it's it's been a struggle, honestly. But I'm 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 trying to figure out how to not complain, but share the struggle with you guys and share being genuine with you guys. Um, you know, there's two sides of it. Uh, the the one side is. To, to make my mark, right? Uh, to, to impact people, to uh, to you know you know help help individual help Muslims uh, balance and maximize their lives and work um, in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and that's something that I'm extraordinarily passionate about. Um, and the other aspect of it is. The fact that, um, you know, I want to earn a living doing what I love, right? I, I want to be able to make money uh, doing so, uh, whether that's directly or indirectly. Um, and there's many ways of doing that. And, you know, I, I want to make halal living. Um, and that's the challenging part of this whole equation that uh, if I knew that I was able to make money off of, you know, just the ad revenue through YouTube. And there's so many revenue streams, uh, whether that's online or offline, and I'm still trying to explore. Um, and sadly, I get caught up in hypes a lot more than I want to, where I'm so excited and so pumped up about an idea that I fell, I fall short of executing on that idea. Um, I, you know, I, I do execute on different ideas of it. Um, and a lot of it is I just don't know where this is going to lead to, honestly. Um, you know, I, I would love to, you know, do, I would love to create content and do the Radwanullah show full time. And obviously that's the idea uh, eventually, right? But that's so far fetched. I honestly don't know if it's going to come true. Um, and then, so I don't know if this makes sense, but another challenge that I've been having is just trying to conceptualize the dynamics of life, right? So for me, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to be as genuine as I possibly can. You know, I, I don't want to talk about something that I'm not doing in, in, in my behind the scenes, so to say. So whatever I come to you guys in front of the scenes, I want to be able to put in the work behind the scenes. Um, and it's it's just a crazy crazy dynamic you know it's a crazy dynamic i don't know um how to you know what to create that you guys will love right and the idea of it is if i love doing it hopefully you guys will too um but then there's that you know the money aspect of it like you know what are the ways that i could uh in a halal way monetize uh, the work that I'm doing or do I do that first or second right do I do what I love uh, first and try to make something out of it or do I um, you know do something first and then let it lead to what I love and you know that's a constant battle for me I don't know the answers right now and I'm not gonna pretend like I do uh, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. As you guys can see, uh, my thoughts are a little bit all over the place. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm in the game. Uh, I'm trying to make something out of myself, make something out of my uh, work, my business, uh, trying to get financial freedom. Um, and uh, halal financial freedom. You know, there's so much, so much. And... Uh, I feel like to a certain degree I feel a little bit stuck um, but at the same time I feel like I'm actually forcing the progression towards you know building my life and my work um, 
as a Muslim uh, in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, so sometimes I want to talk about finances, you know, uh, there's so many different topics within life and work. You know, you could be talking about work in the sense that you're an employee or maybe you're self-employed or maybe you're, you're self-employed and an employer and or an employer. Uh, so there's different variations of that. And for me right now, I'm, I'm, I'm mainly an employee and working towards becoming self-employed and hopefully transitioning fully into becoming self-employed and eventually if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows me become you know self-employed and an employer um, and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows you know just become an employer or an investor uh, you know and you know that's not an easy uh, easy process it's not an easy journey it really takes a lot of time a lot of money um, a lot of energy, a lot of effort. Um, you you actually have to watch out, uh, you know, on what's haram, what's you know, what's halal and what's haram, and what's all in between in terms of the rulings of Islam that I constantly try to connect with the Islamic scholars with. And that's one of my uh, aspire uh, aspirations is to become an Islamic scholar. That's actually what got me started on this. Um, entrepreneurship journey and the investing uh, game um, was because you know my desire and my intention to you know learn the Islamic knowledge and learn uh, and, and not just learn to teach but to learn to implement myself and I hesitate to let people know about that I don't know why uh, but maybe because I just don't want to think I just don't want other people to think that I'm on my I'm on my high horse uh, where they think that I think that I that I think highly of myself um, to a certain degree I do to a certain degree I don't um, and I'm trying to trying to find that balance and you know uh, it, it's 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 an ongoing battle alhamdulillah rabbil alameen and you know it's really really good to kind of share uh, certain lessons and certain things with individuals uh, especially through media and sometimes um, you know I'm thinking you know I don't have to have prerequisites to be able to you know build uh, my my media business right because this is not content creation is in essence a media business a media company and you know, I've studied all of the different business models that go around. Um, that's around the media business um, and so many other business types. Um, you know, this is what that I'm naturally inclined towards uh, is creating content. And sometimes I'm thinking to myself, man, you know, you got to have you, you have to have achieved so much before you can start teaching on it um, and sharing content on it and sharing your journey on it. But then another part of me says, you know, I'm, I'm in the hunt. I'm in the journey. You know what I mean? Like um, I'm learning and growing uh, every single day. There's so many things that I don't truly fully take in and appreciate in my life and work uh, that I was able to achieve. Um, you know, the financial... Uh, uh, Financial freedom aspect of it is a huge lesson that I've learned that I feel like was an important factor in you know my work, uh, whether that's the work that I do uh, for a company or the work that I'm trying to build for myself through the businesses that I have uh, that I'm I'm slowly but surely developing that's on a micro scale. Um, but it's not an easy thing, honestly. Like I'm still trying to figure out. Like I'm I'm still trying to wrap my head around this whole journey you know what I mean like this whole dynamic of you know not only uh, living your life and you know trying to build up your financial freedom and everything else within it your Dean most importantly uh, but also trying to build your work whether that's work through uh, you know a company or you you have that entrepreneurial itch where you're trying to be self-employed and building your own business or employing others or wherever it may, whatever it may be, um, it's not an easy thing. Um, you know, 
I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out like what what in the world do I focus on you know what I mean what in the world do I focus on and how can I produce the results that I'm after how can I you know uh, make my mark so to say as well as my halal money and uh, that's not an easy easy task um, I can only imagine that I'll be getting paid to do this. You know what I mean? Um, and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, on a smaller scale I am. Um, I do have a couple of uh, revenue streams that have dried up, that are coming back up, that have dried up, have coming back up. And, you know, trying to figure out how to, you know, make those revenue streams uh, f uh, consistent and frequent. Uh, consistently sufficient and frequent so and and obviously with all the stuff that is happening in life all the challenges um, you know I, I still don't know how to obviously you know there are people who are benefiting from it uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen um, there's a lot more people who are benefiting from it than those who are showing love which is kind of a little bit surprising to me but I guess in, in hindsight it's pretty normal um, but you know, I, I I don't know what to focus on. Um, but I think you know, focusing on helping Muslims balance and maximize their lives and work um, in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is what I'm going to be uh, essentially talking about. Um, whether that's you know about money, about you know obviously Deen, health and fitness. Um, neatness and abundance, adventure and fun. Um, those are the topics that keep coming up in my head. And I have this mental model in this frame um, that I wanted to share with you guys. And, uh, you know, I don't know, man. Like, what do you guys think? You know, should you focus on what you're passionate about or what makes money or both, right? Because it, it takes a long, long time to build an actual business out of what you truly love doing. For me, you know, it's the Islamic personal professional development and creating content and so many other things that uh, we can go into and talk about. Um, but inshallah, uh, you know, uh, I hope this was somewhat of a help to somebody out there who is probably going through the same uh, go, you know, that have the same goals and reasons and processes and are going through the same struggles as I am. Um, and, you know, there's so many moving parts. There's so many things um, that we really have to work through. And for me personally, I think if the big picture makes sense, um, then everything else will start to work itself out. Um, and you know and and there's especially when you're an aspiring entrepreneur an actual entrepreneur you have so many different ideas you know and um and you know i'm trying to figure out you know how to make it in media uh through content creation and so many things and um and also you know find my focus you know and I think just by talking through it right now, initially, there's so many different variations. And you guys could tell just even from, you know, how I do the intro intros and the outros where uh, I would, you know, one day I would say, I, I want to help you maximize your life and finances, money and life, business, um, you know, you name it. I probably mentioned it already. So, you know, I'm still trying to learn and grow. Uh, I, I uh, you know... I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do it in a halal way that doesn't rob me of my deen, most importantly, that actually allows me to build my deen. Um, and it's a co complex dynamic, to be quite honest with you. Um, and I feel like uh, generally there's a lot of revenue streams out there that as Muslims... Uh, and I can only speak for myself as a Muslim that I'm very, very cautious about. 
um, you know, and making sure that what I what I make is halal, um, and and being able to build my life and work in it and through it um, is going to be very very important. And um, I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out for myself. And um, I think that's the most genuine way to go about it is to share the same things with you guys. Um, so whatever helps me in my life and work. Um, as I'm making it through the transitions of, of work um, and sometimes even retiring and not having to work, um, which is a whole different concept that I have to talk to you guys about. Um, but, you know, I think, I think that's what I'm trying to figure out for myself and um, I'm going to share this journey with you guys and I think that's probably the only way, right way to do it. Um, and as I'm sharing these journeys with you guys, obviously, um, I'm working to build my business. Uh, that's my passion. Uh, I'm trying to build my business full time. And I think it's very, very important to really, really focus on what you love doing the most and what you feel is your biggest purpose in life and your biggest calling in life. Um, and to really build a business around that and to not really focus on all the other things and the prerequisites and so many things just you know focus on what you truly love doing and you know I'm not saying that you you don't have to do all that other the, all of the other things that you need to do to be able to make it quote unquote whatever that is for you and every it's relative right everybody else is is very very different with it um, but I think I've learned a lot just by sharing, uh, you know, all of these things with you guys, um, and I'll continue to do so. I'll share with you, you know, the success as well as the, as well as the struggle, um, and you know, hopefully we'll be able to make something out of it. You know, you know, at the very least, I'll just make my mark, um, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to make my at least sufficient halal money as well, bi ta'ala. Um, and that's the scary part. That's the uncertain part is I honestly have ideas of how it's going to work, but I don't know exactly how it's going to work and uh, what it is that I'm going to build the, the core and the keystone part of my work in and I think I have an idea which is the Radwanullah show um, because I enjoy it like honestly like that's my passion you know what I mean like it doesn't even feel like work to me I look forward to doing it I look it's just a lot of love that goes into the creating process for me obviously a lot of fear uncertainty other inner other inner conflicts problems and challenges that I go through along the way but the, the consistent thing that I loved doing is this, you know what I mean? Um, and the other thing that I wanted to, to quickly mention to you guys is that um, you're, you're going to have to figure out if you're going to build uh, a business brand or a personal brand. Um, and either way, it's still a business, but that just means are you going to use uh, a business name or are you just going to use your own personal name to build your 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 media essentially um, or, or are you going to do a combination of the two or build one through the other um, and that's a whole different thing that I'm still trying to figure out myself and hopefully I can connect with different uh, Muslim creative creators or creatives um, that are out there doing the same thing um, you know obviously a lot better um, those are that are, you know, there's a lot of Muslims, a lot of Muslim creators, mashallah. Um, and that's the core thing for me is Islam. Uh, that's the thing that connects me to everything that I do, uh, you know. And, and um, I don't know, do you guys, do you guys, where, where do you guys normally watch my content? Do you guys watch it on my business branded platforms like Radwanullah Organization? Or do you guys watch it on my personal channels and my per personal social medias? Uh, and I would love to know if that's you know what your feedback is on that, so I can adjust and adapt to be the Nilahi Taala. So, I think that's all that I wanted to share with you guys on this episode. Be the Nilahi Taala. Um, hopefully, you guys like the light introduction. Hopefully, as light as I can make it, at least. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, you know, to summarize and conclude, you know, you know, following your passion is not an easy thing. 
and uh, you know making uh, making it in media and you know trying to build a business in and around it uh, is extraordinarily hard but it's one of the most necess ne necessary things for you to do and you have to find your niche or your focus uh, and for me uh, you know my, you actually have to find your target audience number one and then you have to find your niche uh, and your focus and for me my target audience is Muslims and my areas of focus is life and work uh, so anything that has to do with your life anything that has to do with your work um, in reaching the highest level of your work is what I'm gonna be focused on so I'm gonna be talking about you know working the nine-to-five is a part of my work uh, trying to build my businesses on the side is a part of my work and you know the the, the Dean uh, is a part of life you know the health and fitness the uh, neatness and abundance adventure and fun um, uh, adventure and fun uh, you know the family and relatives is a huge part of it as well because a lot of people are having a lot of marital problems that I also wanted to talk about uh, the, to, 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 uh, to, to help us maneuver through that world and then you know the financial freedom aspect of it is there you know how to manage your money how to make your money how to uh, you know how to make your money how to manage your money and how to maximize your money um, and you know the ummah in the world and the contribution of that and obviously within work you know your customers and team is a part of that um, you know whether whether you're you're trying to do it as an employee uh, or you know self-employed or the employee uh, or the combination of all of them they all are factors of life and that's what I'm trying to uh, work through for myself and help you guys maneuver through as well and help you uh, hopefully make the right decisions as I'm doing the same thing for myself um, And that's all I got for you guys today on the Radwanullah show uh, So that's what you guys are going to be expecting from from us on this channel is we help Muslims uh, Completely balance and maximize their life and work um, In this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, That's what I'm genuinely trying to do with or without content creation and work and business and all of these things um, so I just feel like that's genuinely what I will be talking about with you guys on what you expect from from my channel um, and as of right now I'm gonna be using my personal branded platform um, so please subscribe uh, on uh, YouTube uh, follow on Facebook you know befriend me or follow me depending on you know where I'm at with that one uh, and follow on uh, Instagram those are the three platforms that I'm uh, heavily focused on right now uh, and you know I'm really really trying to you know build uh, some amazing things as well so uh, hopefully I'll find my mojo in you know building that and uh, creating the content and you know producing the content and doing other amazing things uh, in my life and work uh, ta'ala. Um, and you know I've been thinking a lot about productivity performance um, and you know reaching my potential a lot um, and th that's something that we will be covering as well uh, whatever you guys like more of please let me know I'll try to create as much of that as I possibly can and whatever you guys would like to see less of please let me know and I will try to um, uh, you know not create that at all be the ta'ala as long as I feel aligned with it um, uh, and you know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be looking forward to uh, you know while I'm investing in my businesses also uh, investing in my media uh, uh, company and production as well whatever that leads me to I don't know right now but maybe I'm gonna do something like a halal version of the social media agency uh, where I help uh, individuals and, and, and businesses uh, you know, create content uh, to market and sell uh, their offers, be the need as I'm working to do that for myself. Um, I think I've rambled on enough for today. Uh, be the need I genuinely appreciate your time. I uh, hope that you guys could join us on this journey, this beautiful struggle of life and work. Uh, and whether whether it's, you know, 
work through a nine to five or you're building your own business or uh, or, or the two. So, um, yeah, uh, it was great just kind of talking about it through with you guys. Uh, like I said, once again, I really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, make sure that you guys, if you guys like the video, please like it. Uh, subscribe for more content like this. Uh, leave your comments on what you think about anything that I've already mentioned or anything that you would like for me to know, any questions that you guys have for me, uh, you know. And uh, if you guys have any particular questions for me, let me know as well. And I would like for you to share this with your uh, family, friends, and coworkers, bi-idhanillahi um, ta'ala. So that way, uh, you know, we can, you know, hopefully build this channel together. Um, I don't know what this is going to lead me to. Uh, there's a lot of fears, a lot of uncertainty, and uh, um, other inner conflicts, problems, and challenges that will potentially stop me from the goals. But, uh, you know, it's, it's an ongoing battle, bi-idhanillahi ta'ala. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today, bi-idhanillahi ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair, Ridwanullah family, for tuning in to another episode of the Ridwanullah Show. Um, I'm your host, Life and Work Maximizer, Hussein Mahmoud, checking out by saying, never ever give up on completely balancing and maximizing your life and work in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.